Welcome to the island. I'm Big Tim. I've invited 13 unlucky souls to come here and play my game. The game I call Manhunt. <laughs> These soft-bellied suburbanites have six days to cross my island. And the first one to cross the finish line wins a quarter of a million dollars in cash. I'm here to prevent that, with a little help from my friends, Rain and Koa. Our weapons of choice, these, air-powered marker rifles. And just to make things sporty, we only carry three rounds per attack. And the rifles shoot once every 10 seconds. The rules are simple. Three hits, they go home. And we take a trophy. Their hair. Because I'm a sportsman, they get one day of basic tactical training. Everyone remember our the bottom line is we have to make it to safe zone one as fast as we can. They can't mark us there. We can go through these mountain trails or right through Slaughterhouse Slope. Well, let's totally take the slope. It looks like the quickest way there. You know, whatever way we go, it's going to be tough. Remember, use the cover. Once the game started, I was put in a leadership position within the group. Keep your eyes open. Out the rear, keep your eyes open back there. I think most of that was because of my military background. We got man down! Get back! OK, listen up. James, twist his knee. Anybody else hurt? Jesse, are we supposed to wait for people when we're being under attack? You want to watch out for yourself, then. And if, if we're being attacked, I'm leaving. We got the foot trail right over here, guys. There were some people that wanted to make headway and move on because it was the first day, and we didn't know how much further we really had to go. Let's move, guys. Let's move. James says, let's go. When he gets tired or something's wrong, he'll stop us. I think James was good as a leader because people were willing to listen to him, and he would uh, have the the command in his voice that we needed. Keep your heads on. I was aware that um, Karen thought James was cute. And um, I could tell that Liz was fond of James as well. Um, not in a really obvious way, but in a um, subtle way. Their um, personalities are so similar. You don't need to be running anywhere, James. Just call me your mom. There's something about James that just when I first met him, I was just real attracted to him. I don't necessarily want to throw myself at him, but I just feel real comfortable with him. Our direction generally is to that ridge. I don't have a problem with James at all. I mean, I think it's great that he's taken this leadership role. The problem that I have is that I just feel like I'm not being heard. Compass needle always points north. Look, it's right. pointing north. Right there. One mile ahead. We go. But this is pointing that way now. This way. Yeah, but it's not There's telling us which way. Us. And it's like whatever he decides is what it is. There's no if ands, or buts about it, and we have to just keep on trucking. I have an opinion too. Yeah. Why no? Yeah. No, if you look through the eyepiece right here, because you're lining lining it up, I might disagree with what James thinks, but I feel like we should all be heard. Okay, time is ticking. Let's gather around right now. I think we're going the wrong way. I think we should be heading south. We definitely have to avoid Spider Cane Field. You know, whatever way we go, we still have to get through Red Devil Canyon. Okay, you guys, let's take a group vote. We can't, like, can't, we can't have, like, a mutiny. Let's go ahead and take a group vote. All those in favor of the other direction? Aye. All right. Let's go. Other direction. Let's go, then. Okay. Good job. If he was going to be a leader, I think it's important that James listen to the group and the team, and, you know, I think we'll work a lot better that way. If we go over that and that's not the bridge, there's probably going to be stream. So we'll just follow it downstream. When we were up there, it pointed to the it's road the trees right there. and a small it's not little it's not, it's, it's road. You guys, look what happened last time when we took the easy route. I think we should go straight up Red Devil's Canyon. It's the last thing the hunters would expect. Let's move.
Jesse, quite honestly, is my right-hand man out there. I have more confidence in Jesse than, than anyone out there. He is a fantastic uh, uh, subordinate, if you will. Jim Lee uh, coming up the rear, and then Jesse as point is pretty strong. It, it made a lot of people in the middle insignificant. Keep your eyes peeled. Roger. Hey, you guys. Whoever's still down below, I think all the hunters are empty. I'm going to vote for JK. One reason, she's one of the most capable. She's the most capable woman. A little more on the personal note, I noticed there's a, a bit of um, conflict amongst, amongst the group. I personally haven't had that, but I do notice it. I do feel it. I feel the tension. JK was very confrontational, especially with the other females in the group. And uh, I figured once I voted for her, everyone would fall right in and, uh, and vote her out. Oh. Taking my time. This is why I play this game. As far as JK being eliminated in the gauntlet and watching her go through that, I mean. Mandy had a surrender, and James surrendered. I know what I'm doing with a compass. So. And when you see a compass, don't touch the dial. Yeah. I think I connected most with James because he would be the person that everyone would kind of look up to and listen to. So I'm trying to share that knowledge with everyone. A lot of the, the girls out there were considerably younger. And uh, I've traveled a lot. It takes a lot of stimulation to uh, to pique my interest. No, oh, I see. Yeah, <laughs> we were, I was just thinking about JK because... Karen had that. She's pretty worldly, pretty quiet and laid back. And that, that intrigued me. Stu, so hard are you? You could eat it with a fork. James and I have a really uh, compatible sense of humor. I mean, he's a very handsome man. With me, that goes a long way. Neither one of us felt like it was appropriate on the field. But when we camped at night, there was definitely a different kind of bonding between me and James. In the tent, it was just interesting that I didn't sleep next to him, and not because, because I wanted to sleep next to him. It was just that he slept next to Karen. But, you know, hey, good luck to the both of them. OK, we got to get from here to here. Now, I say we stick with the mountain trails, because every time we've been attacked, it's been in the open. So let's stay with the mountain trails. Yes. Oh, the fun has just begun. Check out the action on the next manhunt. 